Hi everybody, this is Ken from Man About Tools and today we're making a one-handed cutting board. A neighbor of mine had an injury on his farm. He cut some tendons in his left hand and he's had surgery to repair it. He's now in a cast for up to six weeks and he's asked me to take this cutting board and make some modifications so he can still use it one-handed. So last night we came up with a plan about how we want to modify this existing cutting board. When it sits on his counter, it's too deep this direction so it makes sense first of all to rip a strip off this end. And then that strip will go on the right hand side as a stop. And we'll make some stops on the top two corners and one on the left side as well. So the first job is to lay out this line here. And then we want to take six inches of this. So we'll just roughly lay out this as well. So this piece right here is going to come and attach onto this end here for a stop. So he can still use his elbow to push down on whatever he needs to cut. And then this extra strip will be ripped into three and those will be used on the corners here, here, and if we have some left over, we'll put another strip on the corner there. These will just be put in with some stainless steel screws from this direction and here as well. So the first job will be to set the fence on the saw to three and three quarter inches. Lock that in, check the height of our blade. and the leftover will be ripped one and one eighth. I'll mark the first stop to notch out the corner. I'll set the fence on the table saw and run it part way through to a pencil mark I made. I'll finish the rip cut and corner cut on my bandsaw. Next I'll mark the screw locations on the stop, then countersink each a quarter inch deep with a Forstner bit on the drill press. I want the screw heads to sit flush. I'll drill the rest of the way through with an eighth inch bit. With the cutting board clamped to the table, I can drill pilot holes and secure the stop with stainless steel screws. This old cutting board has a warp to it and doesn't sit flat anymore. My neighbor is okay with that. He will glue on some foam rubber patches later so it won't rock on the counter. This board is laminated with one inch strips, so I stagger the pilot holes so each screw goes into the center of a strip. End grain attachments like this are not as strong as cross grain, but for this modification, it will hold well enough. This board has years of oil soaked into it, so adding glue won't help without first fully stripping it down and sanding it. My neighbor decided against this extra work and was happy to just keep it simple. Now I'll cut to length and lay out the other stops. I'll mark the hole locations on the underside of the cutting board and countersink and drill each one. And chamfer the corners on these strips on my disc sander. I clamp a strip to the board, then drill the pilot holes with a 1 8 inch bit. I put some red tape on the bit as a depth gauge so I don't drill these holes clean through the strips. 
I'll butt the corner against the first piece, clamp it, then counterboard drill and run a screw in. Then pre-drill and run screws up from the bottom. And repeat on the other corner. To finish up, I'll clamp the left side stop, drill and screw it into place. Then a light going over with a sanding block to round off any sharp corners or rough spots. Done. Now I can take the board over to my neighbor Pat, where he will glue on some foam to the underside with hot melt. This is a very simple project, there's nothing complicated about it. But for me, this kind of work is very rewarding. It just feels great to be able to help my neighbor and friend, and make his recovery a little bit easier. How's that work? This works really well. This is super solid. I think with the uh, lip and the friction on the lip and the pads, it's not going to go anywhere. And one trick, you can um, dampen the foam a little bit and it makes it a lot more sticky. It's a repurposed IKEA board where, um, with a lip that is being held against the counter by my hip. I hold the bread with my elbow and wow, look at this. There we go, we've got pretty consistent thickness on that slice. <laughs> not bad. Not bad, not bad for someone in a handicap. So, and then we have the built-in uh, extra helper corners. So in this one, we put the peanut butter on in a uh, clockwise fashion. Like that. There we go. Be sure to use the appropriate amount of material. And then over to the other side so that as pro for protocol you can get a jam on from the other direction. This is part of the basic construct. And then we take the finished product, bring it back to the edge, and cut it in half. Kent, thank you very much. You're welcome. For helping me with this. I'm now able to make my own sandwiches until I'm better. <laughs> well that was a fairly straightforward project. This is Kent from Man About Tools. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see here, give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. We'll see you next time.